Hello Elvenar players! This is Timon. I want to introduce you to the next chapter of Elvenar. The last one I provided the game design and balancing for. It's called the Constructs. The Constructs are mysterious beings living on flying islands. Artificial creatures created by the ancient Elvenar, which they call the High Men, to fight the big drought and restore the deserted continent of Unor, the big old continent where humans, elves, and most of the other races come from. Their sensors registered that the desert started to spread around your town when you reawakened the Amuni, which is why they pay you a visit now, to stop that process and heal the land. When they spot you, they are quite surprised because they recognize their creators in you. But soon they have to discover that something's not right with the descendants of the Elvenar they found. I won't spoil more, but I hope you enjoy following their story where we finally reveal the mysteries of the ancient Elvenar's demise. This time, you are actually not erecting new buildings, but rather preparing special landing spots for floating islands, so they can land safely in your town. These landing spots require the new sentient goods, so you will need to build a new manufactory first. You are not too surprised about that, are you? Once their big main island has landed, you can start producing small constructs called worker units there. They are required on the four other islands to produce a special kind of energy the constructs call Elvenarine. It's used basically everywhere in the construct society. Using Elvenarine, the worker units can produce nutrition for the islands. You heard that right. The floating islands actually are also giant constructs and thus require, if you want to call it like that, food to grow and develop. And of course, every island has a different taste. So you produce four different kinds of nutrition. Air filters, rain jellyfish, electric shocks and protein bars. Nutrition can also be processed into the mysterious resources Humanium and Elvarium, which you will need to research all the new technologies in the research tree. All in all, this is the most complex resource system Elvenar has seen yet. After all the chapters you've been through, I hope that this provides you with a challenge you seek. Talking about challenge, there's one more aspect of the constructs I want to share with you. This time, there's no settlement street and you can just put any island next to each other as long as at least one island touches the main island. But we implemented the set system you know from some of our event buildings. So every island will produce way more resources with every other different island it touches. If you want to maximize your resource production, you have a tough puzzle to solve when arranging the floating islands. And that's it from my side. The constructs are quite a challenging guest race and I tried my best to balance complexity and challenge for our skilled players who made it that far. So, how do you like the constructs? Please let me know by using the comment section below. I will stay in close contact with the Elvenar team and I will also continue to play the game because I'm actually rather excited how the story of the Elvenar continues from here on. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It might take a while, but I hope we will see us again when I can start sharing news about my new project. Until next time, keep on playing!